Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the bald explorer, out on another walk and this time I'm in West Sussex and I'm in Henfield, or very close, in fact Henfield is um, just over there and I'm just south of the town or the village and behind me I have this rather amazing view of the South Downs which is fantastic. Now I'm following this book a lot of people, I'm filming this I should say just before Christmas and Christmas is a time when a lot of people want to get out and have a few exercises and, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm following this book which um, I bought as a Christmas present, 20 Walks in Sussex and I want to see how clearly I can follow some of the routes in it. I'm not taking a map so I'm going to see how easy it is to follow and, and work out whether it's a, been a good buy or not. So I'm following this footpath. The thing is, I may have to abandon the walk because it does mention in here that although we're starting on high ground, because Henfield is up high, we've got to make our way down towards boggier ground. There's been a lot of rain recently, so let's see how we go. Well, uh, this is quite maddening uh, because already I've got slightly lost. Yeah, um, so the book tells you that you head down the hill. Well, what it doesn't tell you is that you really want to get onto the lane and then head down the hill because there's another footpath that comes down the hill and that footpath uh, takes you to the other side of this old house here which I think is called Dunstan's and then you're supposed to walk along the southern side of it and if you do that you end up here well I came down from that direction anyway so I've passed it on the other side of the house and then you read the next bit of instructions and actually you don't know which, which way you're supposed to go but I gather We've got to go along this rather muddy path. Now, I said I may be a bit foolhardy to do this because actually, not only is it wet and muddy, <laughs> I did print off an OS map um, and I left it behind. Uh, I meant to send another version to my phone. But anyway, we will track along this very muddy path and see where it takes us. It's certainly a little bit slippery, but I am not daunted. I've just come over um, along this path a little bit and I've just taken a little detour because there's, a, there's another route down and clearly um, from Henfield there is lots of routes down into, I suppose, the Weald between Henfield, which is on this promontory, and then the, uh, the South Downs which are, are back that way and this is obviously clearly a, an old path because uh, we've got this high bank here and then um, also this ancient hedgeway I guess coppiced hedge with I don't know what that is let's have a look at the leaves there's oak but these can't be oaks because I don't think oak coppice in that way uh, just looking to see if it was hazel which I think it might be anyway it's an interesting path but it's not the way I'm supposed to go so we still go along this muddy path back along here I'm gonna turn left and past this oak tree it's a rather remarkable oak tree are a couple of bulls in a field there they are <laughs> bless um, it's quite nice actually this walk because we are passing this rather lovely delightful stream and and then there's all these incredible oaks which just lean across all right, this is a five mile walk. I didn't mention that, so I've got to get my skates on. Right, 
so <laughs> discovered this was written in 2007 in 2007 I'm filming this 2018 and already there's um, a few bits of confusion here um, well, there's a van coming just as I choose to film of course we will let him pass so it says here I get to the valley bottom which I, I've got I came down that path and then I went past the stream as you saw on my left um, and there were these lovely walkways these sort of planked walkways which were terrific uh, a bit slippery but I came along there until I came to this uh, five-sided signpost and then it's clearly marked that you take the second left and you come down and then you turn left past some houses which are very smart houses and then there's a big lake um, a big pond well there's a house there with a pond but it's set so far back that it doesn't seem a hundred percent clear and then So I just spoke to a lady actually, I had to ask her if um, this is uh, Broadmere Common. Mere obviously is water, so I'm guessing that that can't be the mere though. It's got to be either further down here and up, or it's up here. So uh, without an ordnance survey, and this is a lesson learnt, and this is really what I was trying to establish in this video, is can you follow a guidebook? And I bought this new but it is out of date and can you follow it without a map and clearly you can't and the map they give you is just vague quite why the publishers didn't get permission to use an OS map in there that would have really helped okay I'm going to take a stroll that way and if that's no good I'm going to come back and take a stroll up there and somehow get back on track. Fortunately I do know the area and I know I can get back to Henfield or I can of course retrack, uh, retrack my steps, retrace. So let's start this way first. Right well okay so it actually all makes sense now and that turning was the correct turning. Uh, just wasn't brilliantly clear however um, I walked around the, down the lane a little bit and then came to the front of the house where the, the pond that was set back was and it's actually called the pond house as if I needed any extra proof that I was doing the right thing um, so okay so I followed that path came through some hedges here of course it talks about some weeping willows and and, and I think in in that hedge behind me there are weeping willows or certainly everything's stripped down because it's winter and so it's hard to identify actually what trees are which but uh, there is a lot of low-lying water there because you can see it goes down and then of course it rises up so anyway this is all broad mere and now I walk up this bit to what's supposed to be a house and some stables and I can see a house in the distance well this is very strange because I've just come across this field here I've walked up the side um, and it looked like that was the house with the pond and as I said and I came up the side and I've just climbed over this stile here and in front of me as the book said is stables and here's the building in front of me and to the, my left is a right hand route and then there's a route up there which goes to a road I think and I read the book and it says at this path take the second right well the second right is just there which is actually from the route I came the first right and then I read further and it says that the path that I took which actually was over the fields should have been this rather pleasant and interesting lane a, a deep a high-sided lane an old holloway and that's where I should have come up so again just as I thought the book was becoming less confusing 
either I'm completely thick, which is a possibility, but I've um, misinterpreted it. Right, with the ground being very wet, we will persevere along this lane and see where it takes us. I'm just pleased that there are plenty of little lanes um, which more or less go the same way. So I haven't actually got lost, although I think I was getting very close to it. Well, I think we've run out of time in today's video. However, um, I've just gone down that green lane, lovely, nice little lane, a bit wet and a bit boggy, of course. I'm beginning to expect that. And then I had sort of went through a farm, but it looked, wasn't, I mean, it was clear, it was marked, but you did feel like you were invading somebody else's property. Anyway, follow the signs, and then it takes you into this field, which I'm now going this way, um, past these, rather large impressive pylons which sort of carry obviously the current uh, into the countryside from god knows where but in the background is the south downs so run out of time in this video i'll continue my walk which hopefully will get me down onto the downs um what is it called the old downs view way uh, the railway that goes from shoreham to christ hospital and then up to london so We'll see that in part two. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe, uh, leave a comment if you've enjoyed this video, and uh, consider becoming a patron to support what I'm doing. Anyway, all the links will be below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Onwards and outwards.